Justin Sari is awaiting sentencing on a federal charge of conspiracy to manufacture methamphetamine. He witnessed the shooting of David Meyer Jr. last year in the house that Meyer shared with Jack Carpenter. Sari testified that after the shooting, Carpenter told him to not go to the police and to help him get rid of the body. Sari also claimed that Carpenter placed a knife in Meyer's hands after the fact. They tell me to on the knife and put in his hands. Mr. Carpenter got it and put it quickly, pushed his hands on the knife and left on the floor and it looked like he used it. Carpenter's attorney, Carl Newman, and interviewed Sari at the Marquette County Jail Tuesday night. He claimed that in that interview, Sari said that Meyer threatened Carpenter with the knife prior to the shooting. And everything you said to me was freely and voluntarily, right? Yes. And you're a liar, aren't you? No, I just told you what you wanted to hear. I was lying. Straight to my face. Yes? Yes. Sari said that he was not receiving and did not expect to receive any favors for testifying in this case, but Sari met with federal agents before signing a plea agreement in his meth case. And during your meeting with the federal agents prior to signing this plea agreement, you answered questions about this Carpenter investigation, didn't you? Yes. So you did know at the time you signed this plea agreement that your cooperation involved Carpenter case, right? I kind of figured that I wasn't sure. Here at the Marquette County Courthouse, a member of the jury asked on Thursday morning, can we see the gun that Carpenter used and the knife that Meyer is alleged to have threatened to use? Judge Thomas Solka replied that although neither weapon has been introduced into evidence yet, there are plenty of witnesses remaining, and so both weapons may be introduced later. In Marquette, Mike Hoey, ABC 10 and CW5 News Now.